Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, showing you the recent cuts of wood that I have obtained from Lowe's that will make up the raised beds in my garden. Now the issue that I had, of course it happens to me, because I just tend to be so lucky like this, is that I went into Lowe's with the expressed idea of getting two by 12 by 16 foot boards. And of course, I went through about, <clears throat> excuse me, about three rows uh, that happened to be, uh, columns I should say, of these pieces of wood that were about three feet tall, and each one of them had really severe imperfections. They were either cracked, um, split completely, or it had pieces, chunks of wood out of those. So I was impatient, I couldn't wait, I needed to get something very quick. Um, so I ended up going with the two by uh, 10 by 16 foot pieces of board. So uh, <clears throat> got these yesterday. Um, these are untreated, you know, the non-pressure treated wood. Um, obviously the chemicals are a concern and I don't like the idea of that leaching into my garden. So let me uh, disengage from the mothership over here and I will show you. I actually don't need to, but this is what I'm using, uh, boiled linseed oil. And as you can see, this wood out here is kind of baking in the sun. I did the uh, first coat yesterday on one side and uh, I just finished up the uh, second coat on the other side. So this stuff is really messy to work with and uh, pretty expensive. I mean this thing was about a gallon. Um, it was, was almost like $24. So, uh, But again it, it seems to be a, um, from what I've read and researched on, a pretty um, uh, good and, and, and nice alternative. It's kind of derived from flaxseed flax seeds to create this type of uh, oil that uh, is a good conditioner as well as kind of repellent and sealant for termites and things like that. So here's the bag um, with all the, the rags and um, gloves that I had used because this stuff, I mean, it, it really gets all over the place. I didn't get that many drips on the actual patio over here, which is good. So, uh, but I'm not worried about it coming off. It should come off pretty fine, pretty easily. So that's kind of the update at the moment right now. As you can see, there are some drips over here, but uh, it's not horrible. It'll come off the uh, cement pretty easily. So uh, once I get these things assembled, I'll make another quick video. And I uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of progress of where I'm at right now. And we'll see what happens. Just got to make sure and let the sun do its job and dry these things out. And uh, I have the other pieces of hardware over here that I'll be using. Got some nice uh, deck screws, uh, two and a half inch. So we'll see. I'm trying to make this thing look nice too. Got a uh, countersink piece here from Lowe's. And rather than the um, battery-powered drill, I'm going to actually use one that I plug in. It's a lot stronger, so I want to make sure this stuff goes in without an issue. And I'll have another video for you when that happens, okay? Thanks.